Hi there, I'm CBS News Baltimore First Alert Meteorologist Steve Soss, and we've seen an active weather day across the state today. Where are we going from here? Well, the good news, the worst of this storm is now ending across the area. So it's a drying out process tonight. Some places will have a refreeze, but it's pretty localized. So if you're up in Carroll County, some of those uh, rural areas in those uh, nooks and crannies there, out there in the western part of the county, temperatures right near 32. Same deal, that northern ridge line from Baltimore County to Hartford County. Most of us, I would say 90%, no issues with the refreeze. And even people that do get the refreeze, it's just for a few hours here early tomorrow morning. As we work our way into tomorrow and Monday, take advantage of it. Two nice days. Really take it in because this is just a wild weather pattern where we have another storm system coming at us here on Tuesday. That will impact us with an alert day. We've already issued it. And that is because this will be a higher end alert day. Heavy rain, stream, river flooding, coastal flooding, and potential wind damage. So this one could be a doozy. We just want you ready for it as early as possible. So let's take a look at today's storm. Some of us made out with snow and others, this was just more of a tease than anything else. Western Maryland, of course, did really well. Seven inches in Cumberland, Pectonsville, a little over six inches of snow. Frostburg, about six inches of snow for you. Thurmont in Frederick County, about four inches. Taney Town in Carroll County, two inches. That was mixed in with some sleet. In Norrisville in Hartford County, seven tenths of an inch. And yeah, we saw some freezing rain too. Never want to see that. That is the worst thing to get on the roadways. Luckily, it was just minor amounts, and a lot of it was in Western Maryland. But a few places in our area, Bentley Springs, uh, about five hundredths of an inch of ice here. Uh, Abingdon had a trace, and luckily we didn't see anything more than that. A lot of us saw this, though. Uh, so look for the stations that have the accuracy here in the reports. Not all the stations reported today uh, good numbers here. So Baltimore, that's a valid number, almost an inch and a quarter. Same with Annapolis, a little over an inch and a tenth. Same with Clinton. Look at Stevensville, almost three inches of rain. And then a lot of this was also mixed with snow and sleet out there cutting down on the actual uh, rainfall totals. So taking a look at our evening planner, things settle down. Look at that temperature. That's not bad. That means the city. You don't have to worry about the refreeze. But like I said, these locations right up along the north, we'll watch them right around 32. If the roads are treated, they'll be fine. But it's those sidewalks, those back roads, those driveways that could be a little challenging given the storm that we had today. By tomorrow morning, temperatures quickly leap above freezing, so not expecting a big deal here travel-wise. In fact, tomorrow turns out to be a decent day. Take advantage of it. It is the pick of the weekend easily. Mid to upper 40s here from Sykesville over to Parkton. Owings Mills here 45 tomorrow afternoon. 46 Chestertown, 45 Elkton, Cecilton 46 degrees. Cover a lot of places here because it's a good outdoor day. Out western Maryland, there will be some snow here tomorrow. So if you're traveling to the west, know that. Two nice days, Sunday and Monday. The alert day on Tuesday starts out as a normal type of rain during the day, but then by evening and night, that's when we get soaked. There's a tropical connection with that rainstorm. Also, a lot of wind energy. Wednesday, we'll start to see that storm system taper off. So we do this impact scale a lot. The more bars we have, the more problematic the storm. And I don't issue these bars liberally, but this storm is gaining some attention here. Heavy rain, probably two, three, maybe four inches of rain. Given the droughts over, flooding is likely Tuesday evening, Tuesday night. Stream and river flooding may continue into the next day or two. And the wind gusts, right now I have three bars, but there is potential that it could be stronger than that in locations like the eastern shore and also across the ridge tops to the west. This is one to watch. Right now our models, the early models coming on in here are showing around two inches, but at times three or four inches there's a tropical connection. So I lean on the higher end of those rainfall totals. Here's the storm system hour by hour. Again, this is just the latest model. This will adjust now that we get a better handle on the storm system. A wintry mix not to worry about for us, Western Maryland, but the big story is the wall of rain that comes in. Just showery Tuesday morning, not too bad. Even into the early afternoons, it's steady, it's windswept, slower travel, but the real problem stuff is where you see these bright colors combined with the real strong winds. When you see these wind arrows in the red, that is 50, 60, maybe even higher. Combine that with soaked ground, Easy for trees to topple over, even without their leaves. And then again, the river and stream flooding for the Wednesday morning commute. Potential wind speeds are really uh, concerning right now. So some of this may verify, some of it may not. But I think a lot of places, 30 to 50 mile per hour gusts, 
Some of the places along the eastern shore, right along the bay, 55, 60 miles per hour. Same deal with the higher ridge tops out west. As we move into Wednesday night, a lot of you are home. That's the good news with this. Winds still gusting, potentially 50, 60 miles per hour in Baltimore down to Annapolis. Potentially near hurricane force wind gusts eastern shore. This is a powerful storm system. Let's hope it doesn't live up to its potential, but we want you to be ready for it here Tuesday afternoon and evening hours. There's your alert day on Tuesday. Luckily, the rain ends on Wednesday. Still 40 mile per hour gusts. A little breather on Thursday. Another soaker of a storm possible Friday into Saturday as this active pipeline of storms continues. Have a good night and good rest of the weekend. Okay, we'll do a somewhat shorty weather. Um, we'll have to talk about. Let's do, okay, we'll start here. All right, three, two. Hi there, I'm CBS News Baltimore. First alert meteorologist Steve Sassen. That storm is in the rear view, rear view mirror soon enough here. So we're looking forward now to Sunday and Monday. Two nice days, upper 40s, seasonably cool. The sun is back. That feels great. Days to prepare for Tuesday. Unfortunately, we have another alert day here. This is going to be one of our higher end alert days, meaning widespread impacts from this storm Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, and the leftover impacts into Wednesday. So we want to bring this to your attention. Got to start those preps now. Different ball game now. The drought is over. The ground is saturated. And with more soaking rains coming, I'm concerned about heavy rain being a big problem. Widespread urban and street flooding. Flooding locations here, you know, will be in your normal spots. But even in spots that may not normally flood, streams and rivers, we haven't had too much of a problem with that. That, I think, is in the cards here, especially with the snow melt upstream across Pennsylvania and Western Maryland and the wind gusts going a little conservative now, but tomorrow I may need to raise this up based on the trends we're seeing in the models. Total rainfall, again, the models are starting to come back up. There's a tropical connection. I would lean on the higher side of these rainfall totals and hope it doesn't come true, but just be prepared for those higher end totals as this storm has a tropical connection all the way down to the Southern Caribbean. So with that being said, as you can see, a little bit of a mix here Tuesday morning. That's not what we're worried about. But as you can see, this storm is rapidly strengthening as it moves to the north. The pressures on this are going to be very impressive, a storm that you don't get every year. So we're talking about what we call a bomb cyclone. So that means that the winds funneling in here, 50, 60, maybe 65 miles per hour, tropical storm force wind gusts, soaking windswept rain for several hours and then out of here by Wednesday morning with leftover winds and then we simmer down. So here are your potential wind gusts. It starts Tuesday afternoon, I think 30, 40, maybe occasionally 50 mile per hour wind gusts during the evening commute and then we rock and roll all the way through 11, 12 o'clock at night and then we'll get a brief pause for a little while and then the winds will shift back to the west here on Wednesday. So after that little bit of a lull, don't be deceived, the wind will kick back up to 40 miles per hour. So this is a busy seven day forecast, probably the busiest we've seen uh, in maybe a year or two. So here we go, 48 degrees on Sunday, 47 on Monday, 54, heavy rain, strong, potentially damaging winds, coastal flooding on Tuesday, eases on Wednesday, a break on Thursday, another storm loaded in the pipeline for Friday and into Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and get some sunshine on your Sunday.